for pharmaceutical companies, what we're seeing is a bigger emphasis on wastewater independence than we've seen in the past. Companies don't want to rely on their wastewater as a potential to limit growth or production increases. We're seeing more stringent regulations imposed um, on industrial users, and those can be in the form of additional scrutiny from regulators or the public and additional regulations imposed on municipalities are then passed down to their industrial user. What we're seeing is pharmaceutical companies are looking for additional discharge options to provide them maximum flexibility. Our treatability lab is a unique resource that we offer to our clients. We're not aware of any other firm with a treatability lab in North Carolina like ours. We use our treatability lab to perform proof of concept testing for biological and physical chemical treatment techniques um, to evaluate if a treatment technique is going to be effective for a particular wastewater. We can also perform optimization studies and evaluate uh, the potential for inhibitory compounds to impact wastewater treatment plants. Our treatability lab has also been used to perform best available technology testing to establish permit limits for clients. Our lab is a great resource to take a project from a desktop exercise into real reactors. We not only focus on capital solutions for our clients, but also look at operational and regulatory solutions as well. For example, if a client is having trouble meeting their permit limits, uh, we don't only focus on what are capital investments for new treatment infrastructure, but we might go look at the municipality that they discharge to and determine if that facility has capacity to accept additional load from them. Uh, if they do, we could work towards negotiating permit changes. For ex one example, we looked at for a pharmaceutical client a new waste that they were going to be generating with a new production process and we tested that wastewater and determined that it was safe to discharge it to the local municipality instead of having to haul it off site and that'll save them approximately a million dollars a year moving forward.